good morning good morning everyone it's me patricia and i want to talk today about the resorts in jamaica and what the effects of, res of the resorts building and the, the resorts uh, are in jamaica um you know we know that resorts are places are like a high-end hotels right there are establishments that are set for you to go on vacation and enjoy and normally resorts is where you pay the most right because they have their accommodations normally are better and they have more things to offer so resorts are very beautiful and they can be very beneficial for people if they benefit the owners of the area where those resorts are built but you know in Jamaica and like also in other parts of the world where there's a lot of corruptions and where the people don't really care about their own people but money like one of those examples that i will talk about today is jamaica the resorts are only causing harm to the people right so in one in one way they're helping because they give people jobs right they don't they don't hire normally the people from the country for the higher positions Normally, they will hire them to do serving and cleaning and things like that. Normally, for bigger positions, they'll bring their own people, right? Because they don't want the black people from Jamaica to benefit out of any resort. So, but the reason why I decided to make this video, like I made the other video on Maui, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to make more videos like that, is because what is happening to Jamaica due to the building of those resorts? So basically, Jamaica is a country that is in the islands, right? It's surrounded by water. That means that their main food source is the ocean because, you know, they depend on the fish and, and they depend on whatever the earth grows and they depend on the fishermen. They go fishing and they sell their fish to people and therefore people are able to eat. But what is, you know, in Jamaica, this is not what is happening. Um, the Jamaicans, the people of Jamaica, they currently have different lawsuits going because the resorts, they are building uh, fences and walls to make sure that the Jamaicans, the natives, the owners of the land are not allowed to go to where their resorts are, right? They are making everything private to the point the Jamaican uh, street uh, sellers and the fishermen are not even able to go fish in their own water in their own country to sustain themselves and to feed the people of Jamaica. So the resorts in Jamaica are creating a hunger. They are taking away the native Jamaica bread from you know and water and milk from the mouth of their children, and that is not fair. So I want you to think about that. You know, when you build, when you book a, 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 a um, vacation in, in Jamaica, right? I want you to think about what you are supporting. You are supporting these resorts that don't care about the people of Jamaica. There's a lot of prejudice, there's a lot of racism, you know, with those people in resorts. Uh, there was a resort that was burned down in Jamaica because they were mistreating the black people and the people of Jamaica. So I am not saying for anybody to go and to start burning resorts or to start hurting anybody. All I'm saying is like, they are the people from Jamaica, they are not getting the respect that they deserve. They are not getting the treatment that they are deserve. They deserve, right? They are being mistreated in their own countries. They are not being allowed to go and be free in their own lands in their own ocean, ocean sites, you know, they're not able to, they're being blocked from enjoying the things that is them, is theirs to enjoy, you know, and those, uh, and, and those um, politicians, right, the people in power, they don't care because they get the money, they're getting paid, right, so as long as their family are taken care of, they do not care about uh, the rest of the people in Jamaica, so that's why they're, you know, they're suing uh, they are suing, right, those people, they are suing because they want their rights back so that they can go and sell and go and fish and so they can, you know, touch the land that belongs to them. So, the, and then we know those resorts that are doing that, they are doing that out of malicious reasons. 
they want to make sure that they are the only ones that profit. And, you know, we know that um, Jamaica is a black island, right? You know, the slaves were taken there. They said a lot of Afro African descendant people. And we already know what the world thinks about that. So, yes, they are not doing that just because they want to protect the resort uh, people, which in some way, yes. But at the same time, they are also doing because they do not care about those black people. And I stand with the Jamaicans that are doing the lawsuit against those people because they belong there and they have the rights to do what is necessary to maintain themselves, like be going fishing and sell the things they can sell. And also, it's their stuff. Even if they just want to go swim, they just want to go have fun, it's their resort. I mean, it's their area. It's their lands. So nobody should be able to do that. When you go through Europe and America here in the United States, there's no areas that are foreigners about it and say, you guys cannot come. Or in Europe, I grew up in Europe. There's no places in Europe that people, you know, that uh, I can go and say, oh, I, I bought this. I, I you know, I, I, you cannot have access to it. They always make sure that whatever they do is their people first. But in, in Africa, in, in South America, in, you know, in the Latin countries and things like that, everything in Asia, things are always blocked for the foreigners. The foreigners get to get the best while the people suffer. And it's because of the politicians, because of those people in power don't care about the people. And it's really time, it's about time that stops. Now with social media, everything is coming to light. And it's about time that we stop supporting those places. It's about time that people stand up and fight for what belongs to them. So, yeah, go Jamaica, sue those people, and do whatever you need to do in order for you to get what belongs to you. And foreigners, before you go to Jamaica and you go and support those resorts, think about what they're doing to those families, all right? It's never okay. You know, meanwhile, you're only going there for a few days for fun. But those people have to live there every day struggling because they don't know where their next meal is coming from. This is disgusting and that is just wrong. So I am with the people of Jamaica. Have a good day.